Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day is part two of the lightsaber video. I'm going to show you how we made that video. Let's get to it guys. So what we've got here, we've opened up Final Cut Pro on my iMac. Um, as you can see here, we've got a little bit of video. Um, this is where we were warming up with uh, the wooden swords. You can see I can move it backwards and forwards. Um, I'll leave the sound on there for the moment. Um, the first thing we need to do is uh, install the M Saber, which is uh, an additional add-on that you can uh, purchase uh, for Final Cut Pro. And I'll put the links down below. You install M Saber. Um, as you can see, it appears under the video effects, M Saber. You pick this up and you drag it and drop it onto your piece of video. Um, what I'm going to do now is use the Command Plus key and I'm going to extend that video out so we can see what we've got. Um, as you can see, it moves across left and right, left and right, left and right. So uh, what we'll do, we'll do two lightsabers. We'll start off with a blue lightsaber. Um, you can see here with the lightsaber, um, add-on dropped on top, you get a blue circle and a black circle. Now what we want to do is say move the blue circle to the bottom of my lightsaber here, so it's near my hands, and the black is going on the end, so it's going on the tip. Okay, now what we want to do, we want to add a keyframe. This is really important because that uh, tells the lightsaber where to move from and where to move to, so we'll add a keyframe. Now up here on the uh, top right hand side, we can show all of the details about the lightsaber. Now I think that lightsaber is a bit thick. Um, so if I, I can obviously make it really big and look really silly, or I can move it really down and thin. So I'm going to go for something just over thin. Now, as you can see, I don't think that's quite thick enough. So I'll make it just a little bit thicker. And then I'm just going to adjust it slightly, just to make sure it covers up the entire wooden sword. Okay, so that's the first part. Um, the second part, what we have to do now is we have to move the video along to some keyframes and we then have to move this lightsaber here to match those keyframes. So if we move across to when the sword moves to there, I'm then going to move the sword up to the top here, the little pointer, and move the pointer down the bottom here. And as you can see, it then stores it there. Now, all of the frames in between, it doesn't really do anything. So if I just play it from there, you see, it looks a bit funny. It's not kind of following it. And then when I do other things, it just stays there. What you can see on here, these little yellow keyframes, they've added those two keyframes. So every time I um, click and move the uh, black circle and the blue circle, it will make a new keyframe. So let's move it across to when it's moved. So you can see the sword's moving. I'm going to move a little keyframe to there, a little keyframe to there. I'm going to move along a little bit. There we go. The sword's then moving up. So I'm going to move the keyframe for the top of the saber there and the bottom one to there. Um, and what I do on the first cut, I go through and I do the big movements first. So there's one there. Um, so I'll go along, adjust this lightsaber here, adjust this lightsaber here, move along, move this one to here, and move this one to here, keep moving along. There's a big movement there. So I'm gonna move the lightsaber to here and to here. Now, what I'm going to show you is, if I play that from there, you'll find that the lightsaber won't quite follow the wooden sword correctly. So he's following, it's, there's a few bits there, you can see the sword, and it's caught up there, and then it's moved. So what we then do, we then go back, and we then follow the sword on this timeline, and every time you see the wooden sword, we then move the lightsaber and make a new keyframe. So following the sword, it's moved again, and the more you do this, the more finite of movement of the lightsaber you get. So it's moving, 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 moving. Ah, there you go, it's moved out there, put it onto there, keep moving, 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 moving. As you can see, it's quite uh, time consuming to do the videos, but it's important that you get it right. Because if you get it wrong, um, you'll find that the lightsaber light will jump around and it won't look accurate at all. So I've just added a few more keyframes and now it's starting to move with the sword. So there's a massive jump there. So I'm going to step through this now. I'll speed this up and uh, I'm going to add all of the keyframes to this video. Uh, 
As we get towards the end here, guys, what I've noticed the best way to do this is to move the, uh, the light so it disappears over the edge of the screen and then just leaves a glow. So if you move both pointers to the edge of the screen and it stops. So let's go back and let's watch what we've done. So that's not too bad. So what we're going to do, we're now going to fill in some of those keyframes. So as I go along, I then when I see when I see that the wooden staff, uh, wooden sword shows through, for example, there, I'll go back and add some additional keyframes. And again, as I said, the more you add, the cleaner it will be. So there's massive change there. So we've done a second round. Let's see what it looks like now. A couple at the beginning there I'm not happy with. But it's nearly there. It's nearly there. So let's go back to that beginning part. Let's put a couple of frames in here. So I'm just pressing space. And you can see there's a, there's a way I can cheat on this. If I expand the width of the lightsaber, it will clear up quite a bit of it. So there's a few there. You see there where the where it pops out. I'm not happy with that at all. So I'm just scrolling through, adjusting slightly, just to make sure we've covered it off. So now that we've done the the first lightsaber, um, let's talk a bit about the M saber preset. So I've got a nice blue lightsaber there, and I'm pretty happy with what it looks like at the moment. Obviously, we can do some final changes as we go along, but I want to get the general principle over to you of how to do it. Um, some of the presets up here, um, you can change the color of the lightsaber. So you can be a consular, um, you can be, which is obviously sort of the yellowy green color, dark, which is, um, I guess, uh, the Sith Lords, guardian, nice blue, mixed side, which is a sort of a purpley color, sentinel, bright yellow, and episode five, which is red, which has got like the lightning on it. Now what's really cool is if you change the presets and go back and press play, the lightsaber is automatically changed. So because you've got these keyframes in, it now changes to uh, episode seven. Go back to here. Let's change it again. Uh, I'm going to be a sentinel in this particular case. Um, what you can also do, you can change from the blending. Um, you can change the scale, the grip scale, the core thickness. This is the thing I've been playing with quite a bit, the core thickness. So it's 5.62 at the moment. As I mentioned right at the beginning, I can make it really big. Um, you can see what's going to happen. It's going to look like I've got a huge lightsaber. Hmm. Um, so let's go back down. Let's, let's reduce that down to something more reasonable. Um, I think I had about four and a half. That'll do. Just make sure that looks OK. Uh, it's OK. I'm still not happy with that, actually. I'm going to go back to default and I'm going to change the color. Uh, we can have a different colors, have a bit of a different purple. There we go. And we can change that. Um, the blur is really interesting as it's set 0.5, but I can make the blur higher and you'll see this lightsaber blurs more as I'm as I'm being hit by Duncan. Um, it's good about you just need to play around with these guys. You just need to play around with these. Um, the trail length is up that and you'll see what happens here. When we move the sword backwards or forwards or to the side, the trail is longer. So some people like it long, some people don't. Um, I think having the defaults seem to work quite well for me personally. So now we've done uh, myself with the lightsaber. Uh, we now need to add another lightsaber for, for, for Duncan there. So to do this, we will close up this uh, lightsaber effects here, M saber, the first one. We're going to drag and drop the M saber onto the top of our timeline again. And you'll see you get a different lightsaber, M saber 2. So I'm going to do the same principle. So start the video. I'm going to pick up the blue next door to Duncan's hands and the black at the end. Now, I don't think that's dramatic enough um, Color difference. So I'm coming up to the presets up here. Uh, I'm going to make Duncan uh, dark. Uh, yeah, that looks good. And let's make the core thickness a little bit thinner to match up with my uh, my lightsaber. And we then add a keyframe. Got to remember to do that. If you forget that, you get halfway through and go, oh, it's not recording anything. And then we start moving Duncan's lightsaber. So as we go along, there we go. It's moved imme uh, immediately. So I'll put this up here, put this down here, blue near the hands. Go across, Duncan's extended. Now, if you notice here, 
my lightsaber, you can still see the wooden uh, the wooden sword. So if I come back up to the top right here, click on my lightsaber, and then adjust, I can adjust either or as I go along. Go back to Duncan's lightsaber, and then move along. And there we go, so he's now moving there. So that keyframe, same principle, I do the initial moves to start with, and then I will fill in the gaps afterwards. So blue near his hands, black at the end, move along, blue near here, back at the end. So you can still see some of the wooden sword, but the majority of the, uh, the lightsaber parts are there now. What I want to show you now is how to add the sounds to the video. So um, you can go on internet, I'll leave some links down below, and you can pick up uh, a load of sounds which uh, sound like lightsabers clashing and banging and or what have you. So as an example, you can hear them loading up. So what we have to do is put the hums on first. So for the video, I want it to hum right from the start. So I pick up the hum sound, and I'm just going to drop it down, and then play it and see what it sounds like. So that's clearly a moving one, which I don't really want a moving one. So I'm going to delete that. I'll try the other hum, hum, hum two. So as we're standing there, we can have some hum twos. I'm going to put two of them down, just slightly uh, different times for each other. So that just demonstrates that we, uh, we, we've we got the lightsabers up and working. Um, what you do then, you keep adding the hums. So as we go along. Now what I'm looking for is that. So where Duncan's actually hitting my lightsaber, we need a crash sound or a clash sound. So I've got some clashes here. This is a bog standard one. So I'll grab that and I'm just going to pop that onto my timeline for a second. So as you can see, this, this sound, uh, where it gets to yellow on the sound here, that's where you get the crash. So I'm going to just move that back, find the second which is there where it's actually crashing. I'm going to put the crash onto it. Just check that. So it's just over there. Um, the overall sound of the video, which is on this blue line here, I'm going to remove it so you can just hear the humming. So it's humming, a bit of quietness, and then, so there's that crash sound. So what I'm going to do, I'm now going to copy and paste that for any time that Duncan hits my sword, which is there. And guys, that's pretty much it. So I would cut it about there. So I'm going to cut the video there, blade that, and get rid of the rest of this video because we don't want that on there. I'm going to move everything back to that line. And then let's give it another try. So now we've got the lightsabers, we've got the sound, we've got the crashes. The only improvements that we could do on this if there's a couple of pieces on here where you can see the wooden sword. For example, here, I'd come along and I'd just add another keyframe. And I'd keep improving it. There's another mess of keyframe missed there until I get it really smooth, until I'm happy with it. Okay, guys, that's me uh, done for how to create lightsabers in Final Cut Pro to replace your swords. Hopefully it gives you what you're after.
So everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope that gave you an idea of uh, how to add lightsabers into your own video. Um, if you want any questions or queries answered about specifics uh, of how we did that video, then, then please post them below. Uh, up here somewhere will be one of the other videos which actually show you um, the lightsaber video when I completed it. Uh, any questions, queries, please ping them along and I look forward to seeing you next week on Dubri's Day. Thanks guys, see you later, bye for now.